story, I do special effects makeup, which is the gory kind of stuff that you see in horror movies. Um, I am in need of models for my business, so if you are interested, please contact me or Mr. Dickerson for more information. My name is Raimi. I'm a senior and I've been selling slime for a little while. Um, it's a substance that I make and you can play with it in class. It keeps you awake. It helps with anxiety and I'm selling it so that I can raise money to go to summer camp. Good morning Patriots. I'm Emmy and here are your morning announcements. There is still time to sign up to participate in the TomTom Tom Youth Summit. The Youth Summit is where leading youth innovators will share their stories about how they started and the lessons aspiring founders can apply in following their passions. More than 30 student makers and creative projects will also be showcased and lunch will be provided. The final deadline for permission slips is this Wednesday, April 12th. You can pick up a permission form from the counseling office today and turn it in tomorrow. The trip is this Thursday, so don't put this off. You know you want some chicken, admit it. Come out to Cane's today from 12 to 9, and a portion of the money you spend to feed your face will go to benefit your senior prom. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Seniors, it's about time you, to graduate. Have you picked up your cap and gown? If not, Jocelyn's will be here one last time, Tuesday, May 11th, during lunches in the cafeteria to hand them out to those of you who've paid your senior fees and ordered the cap and gown. If you haven't yet ordered, just bring $50 cash or money order made out to Jocelyn so you can pay your fee and pick up your gown. Then they're here. <laughs> they're here. Have questions? See Mr. Hankins in room 133 in the basement. Need to grab some new games to play? Here's Kane to give you a review of his latest video game obsession. Hi, I'm Kenny and welcome to the Video Game Review. Today I'll be talking about Horizon Zero Dawn. As you play the game, you follow the main character, Aloy, as he struggles through a land of mechanical animals, tribal feuds, and corrupt machines, in search of her origin and seeking revenge on those who destroyed her village. When I first played the game, I admired its amazing graphics, cutscenes, and open world, and attention to detail. The graphics made me feel like I was in the real forest and the detail to even small things like plants, rocks, and fallen tree branches. I love that it's an open world game and gives me the freedom of exploring the world. It also gives you the choice of what Aloy says, which could change what she does in some cases. The thing that I disliked about the game were the weapons and the upgrades which didn't really upgrade the weapons to any noticeable improvement. Also, the fighting in the game could be better as I spend the majority of the time dodging enemy attacks rather than kicking virtual butts. Some enemies attack can't be dodged and you're forced to take damage. It's also difficult to go anywhere where you aren't running into hostile enemies, which makes just exploring the game's landscape tough. The, can the game campaign wasn't that bad, but it wasn't what trailers made me believe it would be. It appears from the trailers that they've lived in a desert and the whole tribe was wiped out by the attackers. The trailer also led to my biggest letdown of the whole game. The fact that you can only ride three of the machines that are basically different models of the same machine. The game trailer basically built the hype for the game more than it really was. Overall, it's still a great game. I had a lot of fun and enjoyed the campaign of the game. I recommend this game to anyone who likes Far Cry Primal, Skyrim and any other open map games. You probably enjoy Zero Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm Kenny and this was your video game review. Happy gaming. In sports news, it was a quiet day yesterday, but today the Patriots get back into action. Boys tennis kicks things off at 5 and the softball team plays at home starting at 6. The baseball team and the girls varsity cross team are also in action at home tonight, so come on out and support your Patriots. That's all for now. Have a great day.